Sometimes with certain albums, the thing that makes it click with you is time. I chose five albums that I really didn't like at first, but eventually grew to appreciate upon re-listens. So if my picks may surprise you. I'll start with one that I've already mentioned in the past, The X Factor from Iron Maiden. The first time I listened to The X Factor, I considered it the worst album Maiden has ever done. With the exception of The Sign of the Cross, I didn't like any songs. It took me a while to go back and listen to it again, but I'm really glad I did. The main thing that put me off to The X Factor was Blaze Bailey, and I'm not the only one who shared that opinion. With past singers like Paul Diano and Bruce Dickinson who could both scream up a storm, having a singer like Blaze come in is really jarring at first. I've now come to appreciate most of the album. By no means is it perfect or one of the band's absolute best, but there is a lot of hidden gems on here. The darker tone of the album sets it apart from the others as well, making it distinct in its own way. While going through the Genesis catalog for the first time, Wind and Wuthering was where I marked Genesis as going commercial. Believe it or not, it took me a bit to get into Trick of the Tail, but Wind and Wuthering took a lot longer because for the longest time, I considered a Trick of the Tail to be the last great Genesis album, and after that is where the band went commercial. Even some of the albums that came after it, like And Then There Were Three and Duke, had a couple songs I would go back to and listen, but Wind and Wuthering, I never gave it any more time. That was until I gave it another shot quite recently where I grew to like it. A lot of the songs I now find to be really good, and particularly 11th Earl of Mar, which is a top 10 Genesis song for me. Aside from Your Own Special Way and Afterglow, every song is really good to me, and now I consider Wind and Wuthering to be the last great Genesis album. Dio has some of the most classic heavy metal albums of the 80s. Holy Diver through Dream Evil, all classics. But heading into the 90s, Dio really started to change his sound. Lock of the Wolves wasn't too different, but Strange Highways is where things got a lot heavier, darker, doomier, you name it. Anger Machines carried on this sound change and actually amplifies it, making it just as if not more heavy than Strange Highways. Thing is, I wasn't a huge fan of Strange Highways on my initial listen, and because Anger Machines is essentially the continuation of the album's sound, obviously I wasn't too big on this one. I put this album off for quite a while and even considered it one of the worst Dio albums. Needless to say, I listened to Strange Highways once more and liked it, and my feelings eventually were the same for Anger Machines. Yes, for a long time, I really did not like Born Again by Black Sabbath, which I kind of find funny. Both Deep Purple and Black Sabbath are easily top 10 bands for me, yet somehow, Ian Gillen's stint with the band never worked for me. It was until very recent, and I mean recent, where this album finally clicked. I'm not entirely sure what I disliked about it for so long. I always liked Zero the Hero, but really nothing else. Either way, I've come around to it. I guess it needed many listens, and I mean many. I've listened to this album multiple times to convince myself I liked it, and it finally happened. And speaking of Deep Purple... Fun fact. Perfect Strangers was the very first Deep Purple album I heard all the way through, and I didn't like it all that much, but luckily I ventured back to their older albums like In Rock and Burn after, but for the longest time, Perfect Strangers was an outlier in the band's catalog, as I liked most of everything else they've done. Similar to Born Again, I came around to Perfect Strangers very recently, and with the exception of maybe one track, it's a strong album for sure. Those were five albums that I used to dislike, but now like. Let me know what your picks would be. Thanks for watching and farewell.